Yeah, disclaimer. I bought this product. So it wasn't given to me. Nobody's paying me or anything to review this. I bought this. I'm going to let you know if it actually works. And this is like an initial review. So I'll probably do an update uh, down the road. Welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you got a smile on your face. Because it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day today. Yeah, that's right. Well, let me tell you. I got the control arms on the truck. And now we need to get the alignment done. And I just got an alignment scheduled for today, this afternoon. So we pulled the truck out of the garage. We had to lower the tire pressure because the tent wouldn't fit underneath the awning of the house and the eave of the house. Now we gotta pump the tires back up. It's a portable air compressor. Yep, it's a Smitty Belt portable air compressor. So I figured we might as well test this guy out today Pump up the tires, run into town, get the alignment done, and hopefully this will be, you know, the end of this project. See what we got in here. Wait, before I open this up, everybody knows before you use an air compressor, there are two things that are highly important that you must do. First is you must wear safety glasses. Just kidding, these are just sitting right there, so. But the second thing that you must do, everybody knows this, you gotta take your blood pressure. Yep. You wanna make sure you're healthy, because if you're unhealthy and you're using an air compressor, that could be, that could be bad. All right, proper etiquette for taking your blood pressure. So you wanna roll up your sleeve and you just stick this guy on right here. And this comes with the air compressor kit. All air compressors come with the, the blood pressure test. Hit the button, hold your arm over your heart like this. And you're not supposed to say anything or breathe heavily until you're done. All right, let's see if we're a winner. 117 over 79. Sounds good to me. I think we have officially proved that I am capable of handling this air compressor. You have two compartments. I would say that the material that this bag is made out of and the zipper seems like they are cheap and I'm not sure how long they're gonna last. Bag with some fuses, some other um, adapters. You could blow up like an air mattress or something. This is an air filter that will screw onto the compressor. Electrical clips. There's the actual compressor. Oh, look at this. This is a plug kit. Just kidding, that doesn't come with this. I just bought this as well and I, I put it in this. I'll link the plug kit down below. I figure it's good to have the plug kit with the compressor. Let's have a little screw on the side so it looks like you could probably replace the air filter or clean it out. The front. Yeah, check that out. If you wanna know like the specs of everything that this does, just click on the link down below. Let's get this together and let's go test it out. My truck tires are Cooper STT Pro. They're a 10 ply LT tire. Uh, they're pretty heavy duty. We bought them for when we were living on the ranch, not knowing that we'd be driving on the freeway and stuff so much. Ideally, we'd probably have uh, the Cooper AT3, more fuel economic. I like how these tires look, so they're pretty, they're pretty sweet. The tires are currently at 25 PSI because we lowered them to get into the garage. I had been running them at 55 PSI, and I've noticed that they're wearing a little bit more than on the sides. And so we're gonna bring the PSI down to 40. There's a guy that has the same tires on a Jeep, and he runs them at 35 PSI. And so my truck's a little bit heavier than this hose. Clips right in here, like that. You got your end. Well, these stickers aren't put on very well. This one, uh I already pulled the other one off, but I'd rather just not have them on there if they're gonna fall off. Don't forget this hose right there. Then you got your PSI gauge. This pressure gauge also has a bleed off valve right on the back.
So to pump up the PSI in these tires from 25 PSI to 40 PSI, it took a minute and a half on one tire. So a minute and a half for each tire, that would take six minutes. So let's do the rest and see how it goes. So that back tire took a little bit longer. It was two minutes. Just shut the air compressor off, pumped it up a little bit past 40. It's because I want to bleed it down a little bit just to test this out. And yep, that works really well. <laughs> Went down pretty fast. This tire took about two minutes as well. The tire up there took just over two minutes, just a little bit longer than two minutes. So I'd say two minutes per tire is probably a good average. That's eight minutes of compressing. So it worked, that worked pretty well, it was pretty fast. Some people don't like that you have to screw it onto the tire rather than just like a chuck that's on there. But I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Maybe if it was all muddy or something, that might be annoying to try to screw it in with all the, if you, if you didn't have caps on, I guess, and you had mud in the threads. But the hose does reach to all four tires. I still have some some room to stretch this out so i probably could have wrapped it around the back of the truck or something but i just decided to run it underneath but yeah another thing that people said is that this gets really hot like way too hot when you use it a lot but it's not really that hot at all i mean it's warm but it doesn't feel like overheated or anything like that one guy like couldn't even touch it because it was so hot this is fine okay now that we have the tires all aired up let's head on into town to get the alignment done and if you've seen the previous videos uh, I went in uh, two or three different times to try to get the alignment done but they couldn't do it so that's why we replaced the lower control arms in the last video and so fingers crossed that today the alignment will actually get done I would say overall that the compressor so far works great so i'll probably do a review again maybe down the road literally down the road uh because we're traveling so much and hopefully i'll be able to use it to help somebody else out i think initially he gets a two thumbs up from the axe family and they have a larger size compressor which i didn't decide to get I decided to go with the smaller size but yeah, let's uh let's see if we can get this alignment done. I mean we just tighten the alignment bolt. So it's likely that the toe is actually still accurate. Cause we didn't change that at all. Yeah, you can tell something's off. It's like snow plowing a little bit, maybe they said it'll take about an hour for the alignment, so So, I just got here, gave them my keys. I asked them if I could film inside, but they said no. So, we'll have to see ya after it's all said and done. Okay, got it aligned. We'll see. So, we're headed back out to the house and it took him about an hour and a half, so it was nice for my dad to swing by and he picked me up and hung out for a little bit. So, um, pretty sure that we're leaving town uh, this week. So, we're just trying to button everything up. Do, 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 do. Let's see if it drives straight. 
We're gonna wait till we get out in the country. So we have a long, straight road. We got the truck going straight. Gonna let go. Seems like it's doing fine. You hit little bumps, and then it makes it move a little bit. But yeah, it seems to be seems to be going straight. It's definitely not doing what it was doing before, so that's good. I'd say that's a success. Big project. Place the lower control arms, get the alignment done. Now the truck's driving straight, so it just makes everybody feel a lot better. So the two things that we needed to get done before we could hit the road again, get the alignment done on the truck and figure out what's going on with my ear. And we basically did both of those things. We're still waiting to hear back from the ENT specialist uh, about what exactly is going on with my ear. But honestly, since that appointment, um, my ear has felt perfect and I can hear really good. Um, it's not bothering me. So my ear's feeling great. We got the alignment done. I think it's time we got to hit the road. Three days, that's the plan three days we're gonna take off we have our next destination in mind uh, which currently is Wenatchee Washington and our plan is to be there for maybe a couple days uh, we have some friends there Taylor has a essential oils business and part of this trip that we're trying to do is to go meet up with the different people who are part of her business and who are um, using oils and because she educates and teaches like a lot of people here like oh essential oils like and then they have some idea of you know what they're about or whatever but uh, Taylor actually knows like a ton of information and so she teaches like how to use them what exactly they're for um, if you want to start selling them to make some side income or do a full-time business like she's doing uh, she can teach you how to do that and so that's um, gonna be part of this stop in Wenatchee is for her to do some oil stuff yeah we're realizing more and more like the more we try to plan stuff out the more it just it changes anyways so we're doing like two to three destinations ahead but keeping our schedules open maybe you're a youtuber and you want us to come visit you or uh, do a collaboration or something like that uh, you know sometimes people contact us and then stuff comes up and then we change our plans and uh, but we do have like kind of a set plan in mind so it is a few more days head to Wenatchee there you go subscribe if you haven't done that yet it's that button right down there it's all you gotta do is click it it's free for everyone and then there's a little thumbs up guy down there make sure you show him some love and then leave us a comment let us know what you're thinking let us know who you are. I like to know who's watching the videos and I read every single comment and try to reply to every single one. So, we will see you later. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Yeah, that's right. Hats off to you.